Sonic Heroes, but if I don't get an A rank, the video ends. Let's get this started. Oh my god, is that radical? Okay, we see the here. So getting A ranks in this game is not that bad at all, but it can be pretty repetitive and tedious at times actually if you ask me. So you have to go through the same stage twice as that team and like on top of that you have to go through the same stage eight times with all four teams because I mean except for they have an extra mission too and like to get in our S rank or well, A rank actually, so that's pretty tedious when you have, you know, getting all A ranks and you know what's it called? The stages are longer, you know, not every team is different, you know, like Team Rose is easy mode, Team Sonic is normal mode, Team Dark is hard mode, and then like, I don't know what difficulty Team Cows has, but like, it's like, you know, finding like Chow, or you know, finding as many candles as you can, and like, it can be pretty tedious, especially with Team Chaotix, which is, you know, I love the game a lot, but like, ain't no Sonic Frontiers or SA2 or Unleash, like, it's like my top, at least my fifth favorite Sonic game, at least. Fourth is Generations 2, and you know, third is Frontier, second is Unleash, and obviously number one is SA2. SA2, I just feel like, the perfect story, the perfect gameplay, the perfect everything, perfect soundtrack, it's just like, perfect. Perfection. And Heroes is also pretty good too. I like Sonic Heroes. So, yeah. So getting A ranks is actually not that bad, I mean, yeah, I think you have to go for like, what's it called? Get all like, most ranks you can. Defeat as many enemies as you can, you know, score a lot of points in your score meter. I think Team Blast also counts that too, so... Yeah, it's not that bad at all, but it can be pretty, um... Tedious, like, with how long the stages are, and, like, you can die any moment. Especially, like, the later stages, like, you know, Rail Cannon, and, like, Hang Castle, and, like, all other stuff, so... Yeah, they gotta be careful with, you know, how to, uh... Approach these stages with, you know in a uh, A rank route. I mean, technically, what's it called? We get all A ranks, you get super hard mode, which is a nice achievement from getting all A ranks. I mean, like, you know, the last few games, you know, had no Sonic skin, SA1, SA2, you know, had Green Hill Zone, and, you know, what's it called? Even Sonic 06 had achievements for getting all S ranks, and, like, I don't think Unleash had anything when you get all S ranks, and then, like, I think Call of Ultimate had achievement for getting it S ranks, and, you know, I'm not sure if Forces had one too, actually. It's been, I mean, I've platinum the game, but I haven't played Forces in a long time, so. Pretty much, and. Not sure about Generations, and. I mean, Generations and Forces are, like, pretty easy to do, can be, like, you know. They're time based, and, like, they're, like, very, very easy S ranks. I kind of miss with Sonic games, these have, like, you know, very challenging S ranks. Like, the last good, you know, S ranks we had was, you know, Sonic Colors. Generations. I mean, all of generations, but the ranking system is just very, it's just terrible. Forces, I mean, it's slightly better than generations, but not by a lot. And then Frontiers is fine, but it's mainly like, you know, time based, which, I mean, it's fine, but I miss having S ranks or A ranks, you know, where you have, like, had to get as many, you know, points and, like, getting a mountain rings as two. Like, I miss that. I mean, it is how it is. Hopefully, like, the next Sonic game, we have, we get back to challenging S ranks, like, you know. Instead of being time ones, because I mean, I miss challenging S ranks. I mean, Unleash just has she honestly has the best S ranks out of the entire series by far. Like, I just, it's just perfect. Okay, well, Tails. So, yeah. We need challenging S ranks back. It'd be good to do Team Blast in a bit, because uh, I think what's it called? The next section is have enemies, so. Good idea to Tina pull it off, so. Oops. Also, another nitpick too, Tails' voice is not the best. I uh, I understand, you know, the, I think the old voice actor got a bit older, but I mean, the fact they got, you know, I mean, actually he's like the youngest voice actor for Sonic series by far, which, I mean, is nice, but at the same time, I kind of feel like it can be very annoying at times. That's just me. But everything else, like, you know, it's just perfect. And also, that's one of the best vocal themes out of any, you know, Sonic series by far. What I made of is just perfect. And Team Blast time, here we go. See we do here. Alrighty. Pretty perfect. I gotta blow up, you know, all three uh oops, wait a minute. Let's do it just an oop no. Shoot. Enemy. Okay. Bow ring. Let's see how we got. I mean I got heavy ring, so we already know what ring we're getting. And there we go! Even though I lost rings, I still got the A ring. So on to next stage. 
So, just like Unleashing, I'm going to go for different stages, actually, because I don't feel like going in order. And far as Ocean Power is not a bad stage, but not a stage I go back to very fondly, so Grandma Topics is the way. This is one of the best stages in the entire game by far. I mean, I mean, Egg Fleet and, you know, Frog Force is also there, too, but Grandma Topics is easily, like, one of the best, like... This is how you do a Sonic game, like, level design-wise. It doesn't matter, like, how fast it goes to the goal ring, but... All, all what matters is, you know, different pathways that go to the goal ring, you know, finding hidden good and stuff like that, too, so... Yeah, I love this stage a lot. I'm pretty baffled it's never came back in Sonic Generations, or, you know, even 8th Fleet. I kind of feel like those would be better choices than... Is that hell, honestly? I mean, we didn't got a beach stage. I mean, we have, like, what, four city levels in Generations, you know? They're called Speed Highway, City Escape, Crisis City, and Spagonia, but like, I mean, I kind of feel like, you know, we could have had Eighth Fleet or Grandma Chopless. I kind of feel like the level of choices in Generations is kind of like a missed opportunity. I mean, like, Planet Wish I could have replaced with Aquarium Park or, I don't know, um, I feel like with 06 you could have Kingdom Valley. And I think what, mm, Speed Highway is very iconic, actually, too. Same as City Escape. So, like, I mean, Crisis City, I kind of feel like Kingdom Valley, and then, like, Planet Wiss should be, you know, Aquarium Park, and I kind of... Yeah, the rest of me is the same, but, like, yeah, the overall saturation of the city levels is kind of, like, there. I mean, it's... They're good stages, though, too, in Generations as well, but, like, I kind of feel like we could have more, um... Sages. Like, a variety of, you know, sages, instead of being, like, you know, city levels and, like, you know, like, typical grass sages and all that jazz so pretty much but generation still could gain though a lot but frontiers unleash sa2 are better than generations this can be a hot take but the controls in this game are actually not bad at all i mean yeah they're separate but like they're very they're not super separate like you're on ice like they're very responsive they're very tight I mean, yeah, there are moments where you do lose some, some, you know, control in a player. Like, you know, going down the hill or, like, all that stuff. But, like, they're not bad at all. Like, they're very, like, responsive and, like, they're very fluid. The acceleration is just, you know, also really good, too. So, yeah, the controls are pretty good. I say actually better than SA1's controls. But, yeah. So, we need to end the goal ring. End the stage, pretty much, too. So, let's see how we get uh, here. We got a lower score and lower rings than last time, so let's see how we fare here. Oh, just one then. Oh, another A rank. So, yeah, on to the next stage. <laughs> I decided to play Team Dark because we play Sonic twice already, and plus Team Dark is technically the hard mode of the game, so I like challenging myself. And plus, this thing is pretty good too. And I. Can't. You may be rare grinding all the time, but like there's a fair share of platforming, and it's pretty good platforming, you know, as well. So you gotta be careful on how you like switch rails, because if you do it too fast or you know too quick, like you can uh, ultimately you know miss the rail, fall in the pit, and die. So you gotta be you know perfect on how you time your um, switching rail. I mean, it's not you know a blame to anyone. I mean, that's probably you know the game's issue too. But like, yeah, I mean, I mean, shout out to Hedgehog. They uh, what's it called? You have option to switch rails with, you know, the animal stick, but Sonic 06, they are moving entirely for some reason. And then, you know, I mean, SA2 had the same thing Heroes had. But, like, that one, then that game was way better than what it implemented in Heroes. There's a little shortcut there, but I'm not going to do it because I'm not doing no fancy tricks. I'm trying to play it safe, because I'm not risking myself to, uh, get the A rank. Okay. So, we know Omega, actually, because Omega is a beast. Full level up. When he like when he's full level up, he can shoot out a bunch of missiles, you know, like a bunch of lasers, bombs, all that stuff. Like it's just really insane. That's why I go with Team Dark a lot, cause I mean Omega is like an absolute beast. Even though like you know the stages be a pretty much a a long a long thing to do, but yeah, like Omega is an absolute beast. And also like Shadow, I love Shadow. I mean Shadow ain't like you know my favorite favorite. It's so technically Sonic this day but shadow is just like on like my top three i love shadow i mean obviously how he was portrayed in like later games after sonic 6 is just like you know really hurt the character in my opinion i mean the fact that you know he made shadow edgy and like try to be like cool and hip with the kids and hardcore is just like not shadow i mean i shouldn't like, want to like poke fun with the past but like i mean 
still like i mean that's not shadow's character he ain't trying to be dark i mean sure they make fun of you know shadow being dark in the past but i mean like you go over that already like i mean shadow the hedgehog is like you know supposed to be like this character i mean chat like the best shadow has been was actually 06 06 shadow like had the best story the best characterization of shadow by far like shadow like I write, you know, carry that game a lot. I mean, shout out, you know, the game itself, like, in gameplay perspective, you know, it's fine, but, like, okay, enemies there. So only attack there. I think I, noops. I think I popped way too early, but it's fine. But yeah, Shadow, the best Shadow has been was 06, and I don't think Shadow has never topped that since then. I mean, hopefully, you know, with, like, Ian Flynn around and all that stuff, too, like, we can get Shadow to the way he was before. I mean, if Shadow does appear in Frontiers, uh, the DLC, which, I mean, I don't, come on, I'm not trying to see it inside of enemy bottom. I'm trying to freaking get here. God. Oh my god. Hey. Alrighty. Okay. Hey, homie attack here. Usually, what's it call you, and your teammates will help you out to, like, Defeat them quickly, but okay. Three spot here. Okay. The only time you get to control the fight character without you know carrying your teammate, which I kind of wish we had in Heroes, but it's fine. Okay. I was gonna do the uh, thing there with Shadow, but I'm not gonna do it because I, like I said before, I'm not trying to do no uh, cool tricks. We're playing is safe from beginning to end. Okay. Because the home attack. I'm gonna do Shadow because home attack. <coughs> Ooh, I almost made it there. Almost, you know, fell. Okay. The main issue is that, like, what's it called? The main issue about the rail grinding in later Sonic games, like, you know, especially the boost games, like, you had no momentum at all. I mean, here, 06 is a problem head. <clears throat> the problem with later Sonic games with the boost is that, like, what's it called? Um, like, you don't have no momentum at all when you're boosting. I mean, 06 is also guilty of that, too. But in terms of the sound and boosting specifically, like, you had no momentum at all when you're, like... You, I mean, even boosting doesn't even help either. Like, you just, like, hop on the rails, like, all that stuff, too. Like, there's, like, no sense of momentum. It's the same, like, rail grinding speed as, like, you know, every other grind rail. Oops, uh, yeah, enemies there. <coughs> yeah, rail grinding is very, uh... Hasn't been the same since... SA2 perfected the rail grinding system a lot. And, like, I mean, the first time always, you know, excels. But, yeah. SA2 road grinding is easily the best road grinding out of any Sonic game by far. I don't know here, but you, like, you do crouch. I mean, the boost doesn't do that at all. Like, when you crouch in Sonic, you know, to get more speed in SA2, like, you get... You feel like you're, you're grinding even faster. Unleash when you're boosting, or generation. Ooh, my god. Unleash when you're boosting. What's it called? You don't get no sense of momentum. You don't get, like, more speed. Or, you know, the boost itself. Yeah, the pro. Yeah, hopefully, like you know, we get like momentum in rail grinding. I mean, not Frontier DLC, because I mean, honestly, I don't think I, I doubt we'll see any momentum changes in Frontiers or even add momentum at all. You got to see, you know, mods for that one. But yeah, hopefully, like you know, we get like momentum in a Sonic Frontier sequel, because like I mean, momentum is very important to Sonic as a whole, like. That's why, I mean, that's Sonic's main trait, too. Like, Sonic is the fastest thing alive. Like, when he's down the hill, he should, you know, be, like, going even faster. Okay. Oh, wait. Shoot. Okay, we in seven minutes. It's just crazy as well. So, alrighty. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Get two rings. Piece of cake. Oh, well. End of video.